Hey guys, what's up? This is Pants Art Dragon, and today we're doing the top 10 best junglers for solo queue. Okay, so Skarner got a rework, and okay, so Skarner got a rework, and I didn't do a tier list for a patch 5.15 where Elise got a nerf, and also Nidalee. Also, there's a bunch of new items, and that kind of changes some champions a bit. And with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first up is going to be Kale. In this patch, she receives some base AD nerfs, and that does hurt a bit for her clears and ganks since, well, she's obviously going to attack speed build, and what does attack speed emphasize? Auto attacks. So it kind of sucks, but this only impacts her early game just a tiny bit. As for mid game and late game, it doesn't really matter, she still has her shade devour and super strong. Next up is going to be Diana. Okay, so I'm finally putting Diana in my tier list. Why is that? Because I do feel like she is a pretty good jungler right now with the rune glaive. She's one of my personal bias junglers who I like to use from time to time. When like say all the top tier junglers are banned, then she's going to be my backup pick for some situations. But the reason I do like her is because her clears are so good, she barely takes any damage with the shield from her W. And with the mana regen coming from Runeglaive, she can give the blue buff to her mid laner. And like she's pretty good when she gets her first core item like a Zonius or Abyssal in the mid game and can do some work. The only thing that sucks about her is that she can only gank after level 6 unless someone's overextending and she also needs items and she's not you know a tank or is good when she's behind which is kind of hard to do since you'll be farming the jungle for most of the part. And the reason I say she's like a personal bias jungler for me is because I'm like the only person who will play her in high elo as a jungler. I've never seen another Diana jungle except for some guy named Zig and I think he's an AD carry main so that doesn't really count. The only reason I didn't really want to put her in the tier list before was because she's like more of a mid laner but again personally she's just like one of my favorite AP junglers. Next up is going to be Nunu. Ooh, he's getting lower and lower every tier list but you know nothing's really changing to him. He's still pretty strong. Cinder Hulk does give him AoE clears. His peeling ability is no match for others and it's just really hard to get away from him. But there are some things that I just don't like about him and first off, he doesn't really do a lot of damage unless he has Skirmisher's Saber. He can't really necessarily carry a game, he can only enhance his AD carry from being good to super good and he can get fed but he needs to rely on his teammates a bit. And yeah, that's about it. Overall, I don't like him as much as I did before. I do prefer other junglers but I still know that he's a good jungler in my heart. Next up is going to be Shivana. Shivana with Save Devour plus Blade Rune King is just super good right now. Her farming ability is one of the best and if she can get to that 15 minute point where she has a bunch of items and farm while the enemy jungler is a bit behind or maybe like one kill she'll still definitely be ahead. And if she does die once in the early game it doesn't really put her that far behind as her farming ability is just natural and she doesn't really need items to have super fast clears. And when it comes to the mid game, she's just definitely really strong and do a lot of people. Has a really huge burst damage coming from like her EQ combo and has a lot of sustain damage. The only problem with her is that she's not that tanky since she's building a lot of offense in the early game. Ultimate, I mean her passive does give her armor and magic resist, but you aren't building health, so you aren't that tanky. So it's very easy for some burst mages to pop you up. And it's also easy for people to cut you and your early game isn't that strong since you can't really gank. But otherwise, she's just a really good jungler, especially for lower elo since farming helps you get strong. Next up is going to be Lee Sin. So Lee Sin gets a buff this patch for whatever reason, I'm not sure. I guess it was to help apparently players who kind of not that great at him. But it makes the Lee Sin's who are really good at him even better. As now the ultimate does more damage if you knock enemies into each other. And off your passive, you store more energy on your first hit. But on the second hit, it's a bit lower, but that's because you want to balance it out to make it 30. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this means you can cast a bit more spells in teamfights, and peeling is definitely more rewarding. So yeah, if he wasn't already strong now in higher elos or in the right hands, he's definitely going to be more stronger, and I'm, def and I'm not sure if he's actually stronger than Nidalee at the moment, but let's talk about what happened in Nidalee in patch 5.15 and where she's at right now. So the spear nerf where they reduced her base damage a bit hurts in like the mid game and late game for her poke as for the early game. It doesn't matter too much because it only hurts at level 9 and her ganks are based off hitting the spear so she can go in cougar mode and try and assassinate the enemy. Not being used as a poke tool here, it's more of a gap closing tool. And plus if you're going to get hit by the spear, you're probably already going to die so 
That's why the damage doesn't matter. All of the cast time, where they increase it by 0.125, it's basically like adding ping to Nidalee. And the thing is, it's not too noticeable to see that it makes a big difference. I don't feel that much. But yeah, she's still a good jungler right now. She was just toned down a bit. And next up is gonna be Evelyn. So interestingly enough, after the Runeglaive was, just, was changed from making skills that applied on and effects into magic damage, this means her first hit of her E won't do magic damage and will do full physical damage, so the M pen build does get a nerf a bit, but people are building other items such as Rylize for 40% slow, and just being super annoying in team fights and chasing you down. And if you're still thinking about that Q nerf in patch 5.14 where they reduce the damage in the later levels, that didn't matter too much since it didn't hurt her early game, it only hurts her mid game and late game, but you can still see that she does quite a bit of damage still. Next up is Rek'Sai. So she's definitely still one of the top tier junglers, and I can still feel that I can carry with her. The changes to the items don't really matter too much as well, she's just naturally tanky with any items. She just might be running something like Dead Man's Play instead of Randuin's, which is pretty good because her W gives her movement speed, which helps her build up more momentum, and allows you to chase down people better and initiate onto the enemy team faster. And yeah, still a great champion to pick. She's really good for carrying too, although in a bit lower elo, it's definitely harder to use her as you do need really good decision making and strategy. For instance, the use of her ultimate is really key and her tunnels and making like a nice path around the map. And next up at number two is gonna be Lee. Okay, so in this patch, she got a nerf to her Q. There's 4% less damage on her human form Q. And a lot of people look at this as a really big nerf, but honestly, it's not too big. I do feel like the damage loss on her Q is noticeable, but they didn't change her spider farm Q, it still does a lot of damage. And the thing is, well, having a 1.6 second stun on one of their abilities in ganks is really powerful, as it can definitely lock you down if you get hit by it, and now you can leave her E at one point while maxing a W now, so her damage does get increased. But yeah, as long as she has her 1.6 second stun, she'll always be a really good pick. And at number one, you guessed it, Skarner. So a lot of people thought he was going to be really bad because everyone thought he was only powerful in his spires. I kept telling people, no, he's going to be really strong, but no one wanted to listen. But basically, he just has a lot of control with the spires, like you can't do them, you can't contest on it. So right now he's just like contesting a lot of territory and has control of it which makes him really snowbally. Along with that, the power shift to his E made him really powerful, so there's a lot of base damage in his kit, and now he gains a lot more movement speed when he uses his ultimate, so now he can drag people farther than before. Also, he does mixed damage, so it's kind of hard to itemize against him, and right now he just has so much CC with his E and R, the cooldown of his E is definitely something really worth noting, as with 40% CDR, you can E someone, auto attack them, and then R, and then E them again. And that's just a lot of CC coming from Skarner, so you can go full tank and just be super useful. And his base damage is super strong too. Right now, he's definitely one of the pick or ban champions, as with any other top 3 jungler, usually. So yeah, pick him or ban him, your choice. Next up is Gragas. I'll be straight up after those health regen nerfs and the slow nerf to his Q. I never played him again. That's just me because I don't like nerfs. A lot of people, you know, said you should keep him in tier list, but, you know, I was never a big fan of him. Like, I know a lot of other junglers like him, so I kept him in until, you know, he's kind of falling off flavor now, and I'm just going to leave him in the honorable mentions, as I don't see him too often anymore. Next up is going to be AP Echo. So, in a way, he's kind of like Diana. Well, I say that because he has a gap closer just like Diana, but ever since the nurse to him in 5.15 where they changed the base values of him and increased the AP ratios, I just feel like, you know, Echo is still a good jungler, but now AP Echo is better, and I do think it's a good pick. Personally, though, I don't know about anything else, but Runeglaive is such a strong item, so really any AP Sheen jungler is good right now. Although I don't like to go full AP, I feel like I should emphasize on M pen and then building tank, or just going like a bit of AP first and then tank or something like that. I feel like if I go full AP, I just kind of fall off in the late game, so I want to be more useful in the late game or mid game, since my base damage is pretty strong. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a mile.